ट्रैफिक में आपका स्वागत है तैयार हो जाइए भूतकाल की यात्रा करने और साक्षी बनने के लिए भारत के परमाणु सफल का India agreed to separate its civil and military nuclear facilities, and the United States agreed to provide full civil cooperation, acknowledging that India was a responsible member of the world's nuclear club. In 2018, India's first nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarine, INS Arihant, completed its first deterrent inspection. With that. India joined the list of nations with nuclear fire, the capability to launch missiles from land, air, and other sea. In June 2017, Prime Minister Narendra Modi approved the construction of 10 indigenously developed 700 megawatt pressurized heavy water reactors, PHWRs, in fleet mode. The Department of Atomic Energy's non-nuclear applications have made significant contributions to society. DAE research centers have developed a low-cost membrane-assisted technology for desalination and purification of contaminated water for drinking purposes. It has also developed 42 new varieties of crops using radiation-induced mutation breeding with a higher yield seed size, early maturity, and resistance to biotic and abiotic stresses. DAE's research centers have developed Powertron 2, a low-cost telecobalt radiotherapy machine, cesium-137 pencils for blood irradiation. 2nd October 1969, with an initial electrical power capability of 210 megawatts. Prime Minister Srimati Indira Gandhi resisted formidable international pressure and refused to sign the discriminatory Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty, which would limit India's strategic options. On 18th May 1974, Prime Minister Indira Gandhi gave the nod for Operation Smiling Buddha, in which India conducted a successful 12 kiloton peaceful nuclear explosion. Dr. Raja Ramanna was the director and Dr. H. N. Sejna was then the chairman of the EAC. Following India's limited capacity test, the United States stopped the supply of enriched uranium that was used as fuel at the Tarapur Atomic Power Station. This was a part of the bilateral nuclear cooperation agreement signed between India and the United States on 8th August 1963 and was to remain in force for a period of 30 years. This proved to be a blessing in disguise, as India became self-reliant with a completely indigenous nuclear program. India entered a new phase of defense deterrence during Prime Minister Rajiv Gandhi's tenure, with the first ever test firing of its tactical surface-to-surface -surface missile, Prithvi, in February 1988. India also conducted a test of its long-range missile, Agni, on 22nd May 1989. A new chapter in India's nuclear journey was scripted in 1996 under the leadership of scientist Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam and Prime Minister P.V. Narsimha Rao. With the induction of Prithvi 1, India's first missile capable of carrying nuclear warheads into the Indian Army, neither Sri Rao nor successor Prime Ministers signed the discriminatory Comprehensive Test Ban Treaty. Sri Atal Bihari Vajpayee took the first step and transformed India's security capabilities. He authorized the nuclear tests that made India the world's sixth nuclear power. On 11 May 1998, India successfully demonstrated its prowess by conducting three underground nuclear tests. Nuclear physicist Dr. Anil Kakurkar was the director of BARC and Dr. R. Chidamaram was the chair. Simultaneously, Prime Minister Bajpayee announced a no first use policy. 
the United States imposed fresh sanctions on India. But Prime Minister Bajpayee's innovative diplomacy persuaded the world to recognize 